Hello, Jenny Hall here for Ink on 3. Today I have an easy mirror image technique to share with you. I'm using the mirror image stamp and this is from the Ink on 3 shop. I'm going to pair it with Little Birdie stamp set. I would really like the bird to be pointing the opposite direction. So this is a great opportunity for me to share this technique with you. For the background, I'm using Leafy Forest Stencil, and I'll show you a really unique look. I'm going to color the bird with some liquid watercolors, and those are the Atelier Ink Refills. First thing is to take my Misty, take out that foam pad, and then use the mirror image stamp. It's just a very large rectangle photopolymer stamp. Now that's going to be the surface that we take our image from, but first we have to stamp the image onto that surface. So I'm going to use some blackout ink and I'm going to make sure that I pick it up with a, water, a piece of watercolor paper. So the image is now imprinted on the mirror image stamp, but I want there to be lots and lots of ink. So I'm going to give two or three different coatings of this ink so that there's a really nice juicy impression there. Now taking the smooth side of a piece of watercolor paper, I'm just laying it carefully onto the mirror image stamp and rubbing over it with my fingers so that I can get a nice clean, good contact between the paper and the image. And here's my image. It's just that simple. It works like a charm every time. If for some reason you want your image to be even darker than what this image shows, then the easiest way to do that would be to take a fine line permanent pen, like a black fine line marker, and just carefully go over the lines. But I have found that this image is plenty dark enough. Now the juicier your stamp pad is, then the juicier your ink impression is going to be. So let's color this beautiful little bird. Now that he is pointing in the direction that I wanted him to, then I'm using the ink refills from Ink on 3, and these are the Atelier inks, and I keep them in a porcelain palette. I completely replenish this. If one of the colors kind of gets a little, little low, I just put another drop and there you go. This is almost my go-to watercolor palette nowadays and it is so easy to color with them. The colors always mix together beautifully and they're very, very bright, vibrant as you can see. I'm going to fussy cut that bird and set him aside and then I want to create a frame and I want it to be a specific size. So I've grabbed two rectangle dies and I'm going to use the larger one and the, and the two sizes smaller together to make a frame and I'm going to save all my little pieces that fall out. The little the in between the middle piece I'm just going to set aside for another project, but the negative space this outside frame is going to work as a mask for me to do some stencil work. So I've got the leafy forest stencil here, and this is from the Ink on Three shop, and I'm using a blended blending buddy brush from Trinity Stamps to go right through that stencil and add some green color down to the card base. So I'm not using a panel for this, I'm using the actual card base. The reason I put that mask there is because I want to make sure that I keep the stenciled area on just a certain area. Like when I place that frame, I don't want there to be any green ink away from it. I don't want to work all the way to the edge of the card base. So once I pulled away that stencil, then I was able to pop back that mask in place and add a little bit of more ambient green, of just kind of a very light area. And it's going to keep the outside of the card base color free and that is going to lend itself really nicely to the clean and simple look of this card. This is a sympathy card and I really want it to look very clean and 
not too fussy because I want the message of the card to be what's conveyed. So that's why I chose a clean and simple look. And doing this with a frame is one of my favorite ways. I haven't made this card design in a while. And whenever I find that I'm kind of like stuck with my mojo, like if I don't have any ideas and I know I've got projects due, then I go back to what makes me happy. And clean and simple really makes me happy. So here's my little bird, and I have him in the bottom right-hand side of the frame, exactly where I wanted him to be, where the color lightens up behind him. I wasn't sure how I was going to do my sentiments. Nowadays, I kind of tend to wait and just see what happens. So popping that card base into the misty and just kind of centering it everywhere, it kind of works out for me. <laughs> so I've stamped it directly onto the card base, and now I'm going to add some embellishments. And that's it. Very easy, very clean and simple. And the bird is pointing in the right direction because of the mirror image technique. I hope that you have enjoyed this project. And I would love to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Thank you for watching.